EM at work revitalizing the Dotonbori River and Osaka Bay. NHK TV News. The Osaka City Fisheries Cooperative mobilizes to clean up Osaka Bay. What you're looking at here is the thick layer of sludge buildup at the bottom of Osaka's Dotonbori River. The Dotonbori River, a river imperiled by serious levels of sludge buildup. Hope for decomposing this sludge and restoring the river rests on the backs of these modest looking balls of mud. These mud balls, E.M. Genki balls as they are affectionately called, are packed full of lactic acid bacteria and other strains of useful microorganisms. They are a powerful amalgam of a variety of naturally occurring microorganisms. Fishermen from the Osaka City Fisheries Cooperative, or OCFC, have taken upon themselves the challenge of cleaning up the pollution-beleaguered Osaka Bay. Their plan is to improve water quality in the bay by first cleaning up the city's riverways. Osaka residents have responded to the call, with volunteers coming out in large numbers to lend a helping hand. The Genki mud balls are prepared by hand by Girl Scouts, individuals with disabilities, and other concerned citizens. Their goal is to make 200,000 balls over a two-year period. It's a lot of fun. I think it's great that we can help clean up our city's riverways by making these mud balls. The Yodogawa River. Fishermen struggle their way through the thick, sludgy buildup. Last August, members of the OCFC laid 500 Genki mud balls in these sludge-ridden stretches near the mouth of Osaka's Yodogawa River. Will the microorganisms in these Genki mud balls really be able to put a dent in this sludge buildup? Five months later, the fishermen return to the area where they had laid the mud balls. They find visibly less sludge and more sand. They can now walk with ease. The fishermen also note the presence of shijimi clams in the water. Look, those are shijimi clams! They're back! You don't typically see shijimi clams in these lower sandy stretches of the river. We only laid EM mud balls in this area, and this is the only area where we now see the clams. That certainly has gotten our attention. At the end of last month, the fishermen embarked on the labor-intensive project of depositing Genki mud balls at the bottom of the Dotonbori River. The OCFC's plan is to lay the mud balls on an ongoing basis for the next two years with the goal of cleaning up the river and eventually the waters of Osaka Bay. We would like to leave the next generation a healthy ocean and thriving rivers. The Genki mud balls, infused with the hopes of the city's residents, make their quiet descent to the river bottom. The revitalization of Osaka Bay. Volunteers work to clean up Osaka's Dotonbori River. This is the Iwasaki Pier, located at the foot of the sluice gate leading to the Dotonbori River. Eleven fishing boats have massed along the pier this morning, each vessel loaded with 40,000 EM-activated Genki mud balls. Responding to the appeals of the Osaka City Fisheries Cooperative, or OCFC, a total of 70-plus volunteers from throughout the greater Osaka metropolitan area, including members from nonprofit organizations, citizens groups, and two members of Japan's national parliament, showed up at the pier, eager to do their part to help clean up the Dotonbori River. As soon as the volunteers were on board and the boats left the pier, the rain suddenly let up and the blue summer sky began peeking its way through the clouds. This is the sluice gate that marks the beginning of the Dotonbori River. Just beyond this gate lies the river, the focus of this OCFC waterway restoration project. The boats begin making their way steadily upriver. This ambitious cleanup effort calls for applying EM along the entire length of the river. Not too long ago, the Dotonbori River was a favorite spot for water enthusiasts. Swimmers would enjoy a splash in the river on hot summer days. 
In recent years, the river has instead become known for its murkiness and odor. Wastewater discharge into the Dotombori has caused massive sludge buildups along the bed of the river, with the resulting deterioration in water quality. This cleanup project is premised upon the idea of using EM, effective microorganisms, to rejuvenate the river by decomposing the sludge buildup along the riverbed. These are Genki mud balls. The mud balls contain rice bran and EM, effective microorganisms. The mud balls eventually absorb water and sink down to the bottom of the river where they lodge themselves in the sludge. The symbiotic microorganic cultures in the EM reproduce and thrive at the bottom of the river and begin to eat away at the sludge buildup. What is EM? EM is an acronym for Effective Microorganisms. EM is a compound liquid culture consisting of lactic acid bacteria, photosynthetic bacteria, yeasts, and other safe beneficial microorganisms. By generating antioxidants, which deter the oxidation process, EM is able to revive contaminated soil by reducing physical concentrations of toxic substances. EM is also effective in improving water quality in ponds, lakes, and rivers. EM technology readily lends itself to a variety of recycling applications such as the production of soap from waste oil and the creation of natural fertilizer from organic waste. The power of EM technology is being harnessed in countries all around the world in the areas of food production, health care, and environmental remediation. These are the headquarter facilities of the Osaka City Fisheries Cooperative this state-of-the-art system uses molasses to mass-produce activated EM solution. The solution is endearingly referred to by the members of the OCFC as EM Genki Solution. The OCFC system has the capacity to mass-produce activated EM solution in a quality-controlled environment. Making use of a large pool, formerly used as a fish cultivation pond, the OCFC has succeeded in producing activated EM solution in batches of approximately 150 tons, an unprecedented level of mass EM production. The EM Genki solution is loaded onto a barge where it is to be transported to and discharged directly into the Dotombori River. The fishermen sail the barge to the Dotombori River loaded with 120 tons of EM Genki solution. The barge makes its way upstream, spraying EM Genki solution along the entire length of the river. The use of this EM Genki solution, in combination with the EM Genki balls released into the river earlier, will serve to accelerate the pace of this restoration campaign. Since the initial round of cleanup efforts began, the river's odor has disappeared, and there is a noticeably significant decrease in sludge buildup at the river's bottom. Water clarity has improved as well, and carp populations in the waterway have increased substantially. Mr. Kitamura, the director of the OCFC, has this to say. On June 30th, we successfully prepared a culture of 150 tons of activated EM Genki solution in a large tank. We then transported about 120 tons of the solution in a large barge and released it into the Dotombori River. With that volume, I suspect that we're about where we need to be in order to achieve the level of infusion that Dr. Higa conceptualized for cleaning up this river system. As far as I can tell, the river smell has completely disappeared. Everyone has noticed that. We've also observed a considerable reduction in sludge buildup at the bottom of the river. We used a long pole to sample the sludge at the river bottom and found that it had less of a noxious odor and that it was not quite as concentrated as it used to be. Of course, as the sludge thins out, we see sand reemerge to the upper layers of the riverbed. That's something we are now witnessing along the entire course of the river. Coming out here today, I was really surprised to see the scale of this undertaking by the Osaka City Fisheries Cooperative, and all at their own expense. 
Before I was elected to serve in the Diet, I had occasion to tour the Dotombori River and some of the adjacent waterways in a city public works department boat. The city has been working on constructing facilities to separate storm runoff and wastewater, but the progress that has been achieved in cleaning up the city's waterways has been modest at best. I was really surprised to come out here today and see the scale of the volunteer efforts being undertaken by the Osaka City Fisheries Cooperative, and all at their own expense. There appears to be openness to the idea of using the city's existing wastewater treatment plants to conduct empirical studies. I intend to do my part to see how the city of Osaka can make the most effective use of EM technology. A long time ago, I looked down at the Dotombori from one of the bridges that cross over the river. The river struck me as being awfully polluted. Today, I went out on the river with the others on the boat. I can see for myself that the river no longer smells and that the river is a whole lot cleaner than it used to be. I'm very impressed with what I see. Having seen what the OCFC has been doing to clean up the Dotombori River, I'm now interested in undertaking a similar project in the river that flows past Tsugemura Village, which is where I live. It's a small river, but it is gradually becoming more and more polluted. I'm optimistic that we can play a part in cleaning up that river as well. When I compare the condition that the Dotombori River was in before we began our cleanup efforts and the condition that the river is in now, well, for starters, the river no longer has that smell. The sludge at the river bottom is less dense and build-up levels have been reduced. The sludge along the river bottom used to have a noticeably noxious odor but now that odor is considerably less intense. I believe that we're seeing the results of our efforts. We had been releasing 10 tons of EM Genki solution into the river every week. This time around, we released about 150 tons into the river. From this point forward, we hope to discharge 150 tons of EM solution every two weeks. Osaka Bay has long been known for its bountiful fishing grounds. Motivated by a desire to pass on this rich legacy to the next generation, the fisheries community and concerned city residents are boldly moving forward with an ambitious program designed to restore and revitalize this city's life-sustaining waterways.